So we look at the oxygen hydrogen fuel cell, but in particular we need to define what a fuel cell is. Now this actually does come up on the papers quite a lot, what is a fuel cell, and you can get yourself in a little bit of a muddle about it. So we do a little definition. So a fuel cell um, converts chemical energy I'm going to put a little bit, converts the chemical energy of a continuous supply of reactants into electrical energy. So we continue to put the reactants in and we'll continue to get electricity out. So we supply, so fuel is supplied at one electrode. So we've got fuel at one, the other electrode is always going to have oxygen because a fuel is something that we can burn with oxygen. Uh, so fuel is supplied at one electrode and oxygen at the other electrode. I think Ms. Harrison wants to come in. Okay, she's just right away. Okay. Like so. So we're going to look at the hydrogen oxygen. So let's do a little diagram first of all. So we have, you've got like a boxy thing. What are the fuel cells with like the tiny cylinder? You know, they fire loads of energy at it. So, I pop in, this is one electrode here, so this is an electrode, this would be my other electrode, this bit in the middle is kind of like your salt bridge to connect the two together, so that's your salt bridge. Now in this one, I pump in hydrogen. So H2 in. In the other one, I pump in oxygen. So O2 goes in that side. Now we'll have a look. Now this is the salt bridge. What happens is OH minus ions then diffuse across the salt bridge. Like so. They go from the oxygen end into the hydrogen. That electrode is negative and that electrode is positive. And then if we connect our circuit up, that gives us energy out, like so. So this is my negative terminal. And then I've got your positive terminal. I'll have to go for red. So obviously that's my negative terminal. So like when you've got a battery, it's a negative, and that's going to be your positive. Like so. so my two cell reactions, so these are my two half equations, um, are 2H2O. Now remember we always show it as reduction. So we're going to have to swap these around. That's reaction number one. The E standard for that is minus 0.83 volts. The other one is a half O2 plus H2O plus two electrons goes to two OH minus. And E standard for that is plus 4.0 volts. OK, so I always show it as reduction. Uh, right, so which one? Which one's the most positive? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Last month has been working. Okay, so that one goes from left to right, so what's going to happen to the other one? Right to right. Yeah, that one's got to be reversed. I've got the same number of electrons on 
both equations, so happy days, I can add these together to give my own raw reaction. Yeah, I have a reverse change. Okay, so this one I'm going to keep the same. So I'll have RO2 plus H2O plus H2 plus 2OH minus goes to 2OH minus plus 2H2O, and that's it. So yeah, so we can cancel this down, can't we? So I have got two OH minus on both sides, so there you go. I've also got an H2O there, and two H2Os there, so I can cancel that down. So overall, what do I have? A half O2 plus H2 goes to H2O. Oh, just like that, just like that. Only making water. Happy days. What will my voltage be for that cell? The difference between him and him is yeah, 1.23 volts. So I get 1.23 1 volts from my overall cell reaction. So yeah, so Francis, what's happening is, um, can you see this one is the more negative? So that's why that is my um, negative terminal, because that's the negative oh, yeah. one. This one here is positive, so that's why that's my positive terminal there. So you, you match them up, so it's easy to sort of think, okay, my negative one has got to be the hydrogen, because that's that one. My positive one is going to be that one, so it matches up. Overall, these are, you know, these are just ions that are transferring across. So if you have a think about it, um, what's happening here is the a half, I've got a half O2 going that way. Can you see that it produces two OH minus ions? So I'm making OH minus ions here. This guy wants to add hydrogen and OH minus, so that's why they've got to move from there to there. Because this equation produces two OH minus. Yeah. So on this one, if I say this is what's happening, over here, I've got a half O2 plus H2O plus two electrons. If we just say go to two OH minus, so I'm making OH minus there. This side, I've got H2 plus two OH minus goes to two H2O. Yeah. So I've got to get this equation, this half equation produces two OH minus. They then need to transfer to meet my hydrogen coming in here to produce water there. So that's why I need my salt bridge to allow the ions to transfer across. Yeah, you have to. Uh, good point. Yeah, but they need to because to complete this reaction. Remember, it's, it's only negative because it's producing electricity. It's like it's producing electrons. So yeah. I see what you mean, yes, but, but they will be driven because they want to, the hydrogen's coming in here, they're being driven across. But.